914. Time to hear from my good friend Cheryl Antoine over at Chin Radio. Hi, my dear. How are you doing? Good, my darling. What's happening? Oh, well, a whole lot's going on in our community. Yeah. Um, we talked, Leanne and I had spoken about something last week, but I thought it's worth mentioning again. Oh, yes. And it's the Immaculata High School's uh, gymnasium event that's coming up, and that's with um, the 8th Annual King Boloco Memorial Foundation. Right. Now, this lad had drowned in, tw in 2005. He that's was right. 15 at the time. And July 23rd, as a Right, time. exactly. So he had drunk while swimming with friends in the Ottawa River. Yeah. So the family thought it was a, an apt and appropriate thing in his memory and to help others, you know, kids to be able to have a, a funding, you know, for to help them with swimming. Well, and they stuff created like a that. foundation, right? Yes, they created this foundation. This this fellow, he was part of the, the Governor General's foot guard. He was an active young man. And um, we don't know how his life would have been today, but his legacy now lives on. Yes. And so this event is going to be coming up, well, uh, providing... Um, income to access kids, you know, to swim in lessons right. and etc. Now, King was, uh, you know what, he was in all kinds of youth groups. Yes. He was in the church choir. Yes. East yes. Ottawa General's football team. Exactly. You know, it was really an up and coming young lad yeah. and just got struck it's down a shame, in eh? prime. It's so, so sad. Mm. I mean, you know, so sad. So now we hope that uh, people would go out and support the foundation because it supports um, other young people to prevent families of having to experience this sort of loss and mm -hmm. this sort of a sadness in this way. So I know his, uh, his family would really appreciate the support. So that's uh, that's today at 5 o'clock. So that's it. And the, the, the phone number for them is 613-276-8484. Um, that's 276 uh -huh. yeah. if folk wish to get any other additional information. I, I want to make sure we say hi to the folks over at Fat Boys uh, Southern Smokehouse. Uh, yes. They're good friends of ours, Sean and his group over there. It's almost, uh, uh, this, this, this is funny, it's like a gospel brunch. I've, I've gone to it. <laughs> It's fantastic. Yeah, it's Gospel great. Brunch, and it's going to be from 11 uh, 15 to 1 15 at Fat Boy Smokehouse. It's a which buffet, is right too. Door, which, you know. Right next door to us here at Chin. Yeah. So we, we will be able to smell what's going on. Twenty one ninety nine for a buffet, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm in, and you get it. gospel music to boot. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Hey, we, Cheryl, we're out of time, unfortunately. Okay. Well, um, the, 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 another thing that's coming up quickly that people might be interested in in, in Blackburn Hamlet, and we can talk about it next week even, okay. is the um, leadership and communication. It's the Toastmasters for people who, oh, who yeah. wish to, to improve their speaking and leadership skills. They yeah. just started a program in um, Blackburn. Blackburn Hamlet. Right. Um, it's going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we can talk about that another time. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, you have a safe one. Um, okay, I'll see you in a week and a half or so. Look forward. I'll look bring forward back to some that. cabbage rolls from Ma. I am salivating and tell Ma and, and they tell her thanks in advance. I will. Thanks in advance. Cherise, darling, love you. See you. And all our chin listeners, uh -huh. keep listening and keep viewing CTV. That's right. Ciao, thanks, Cheryl. Cheers. See you, my darling. Okay, love you. Uh, Cheryl Antoine over at Chin Radio, our cultural partners here in the Byward Market.